What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another reaction video. Yes, earlier today I uploaded my reaction to the FNAF movie teaser trailer, which was insane and like it was mind blowing. Honestly, I, I am so impressed with what Blumhouse are, are doing on the FNAF movie. And I am, I'm just so excited for October 27th when the FNAF movie finally drops. I'm sure we're going to get more trailers before that. But uh, it's, it's just, uh, it's hype. It's so hype. So uh, that's, that's amazing. So Blumhouse are doing a great job over there. Uh, Illumix are dead at this point. I, I don't know what's happening with Illumix. I don't think FNAF AR is ever getting another update. I, don't, I think it's been abandoned. I don't think Illumix are ever going to be doing anything FNAF related again. Uh, prove me wrong. <laughs> Uh, so, Illumix are out, Blumhouse are good. What's Steel Wool doing? What is Steel Wool doing? Well, 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 well. We were promised the Ruin DLC for 2023. And that's all we got. We, we only got a poster, really, uh, for the Ruin DLC. And uh, a trailer just randomly dropped last night. <laughs> uh, last night. Uh, it, it dropped. I was so tired yesterday. I have no idea why. I, I think it was just a long day at work and I went for a swim as well. It was great. Um, so yeah, I, I was very tired and I saw that it, it dropped and I was like, oh, I've got to record a reaction. Nah, I'll do it in the morning. So uh, it was currently 10 a.m. and I am re re reacting to the Steel Wool Studios Ruin DLC trailer. Uh, it's a gameplay trailer which is exciting because we'll see what kind of gameplay there is. And maybe we'll see some of the story as well. Uh, obviously, we're going to be theorizing during this. I think we just get straight into this. And I'm sure this is going to be just as long as the FNAF movie video that I did. Because I'm going to be doing an in-depth analysis of this trailer as well to see what new sort of stuff there is. Because this is a DLC, believe it or not. Like, obviously, Tears of the Kingdom just dropped for um, Legend of Zelda. And that was an entire new game, even though it was kind of still the same sort of game. It was like the same base. They they created the um like the engine in Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, so like they could then develop it um for even cooler stuff in Tears of the Kingdom. And I think they did a great job with that. But bear in mind, this is only a DLC, so I'm not expecting all that much more. Like maybe some more kind of. Like, it's just like Curse of Dreadbear, right? Curse of Dreadbear was a DLC. It had some really, really cool stuff, but it wasn't its own game. This isn't its own game. It's a DLC. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen with it. I am very, uh, yeah, I'm skeptical. Let's get into it, I think. Um, so this is Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruined DLC Gameplay Trailer. Oh boy. Let's get, let's get into it. I'm going to do a first full reaction. Whoa! Cassie, I hope you get this message. I'm trapped. Here at the pizza plex, or what's left of it. I don't have time to go into Gregory. how I got here. Whoa! You got to help me out. Oh my god. Yes. Save me, Cassie. Please. Yes. It's so dark down here. That's terrifying. Roxanne? That's Monty! Oh my gosh! What? Chica, Roxanne! What was that? Don't give up on me yet. July! July! Are you kidding me? July 2023. Oh my god. I was not even expecting a release date in this trailer. That's crazy. Two months. Or one and a half months. Okay. July. July of 2023. That's amazing. I have time off work in July. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. There is so much to unpack there. 
Wow. <laughs> okay, so first of all, it does, it just feels like a, an entire new game, honestly. It, obviously, Ruin DLC. Ruin means the Pizza Plex is, is destroyed at this point. And we saw that so many times in this trailer. Like, it doesn't feel like the same Pizza Plex. It doesn't. It feels like it has gone through a destruction, and that's probably what happened uh, in the Burn Trap ending in Security Breach. So that's kind of sorted. That's kind of like a tick. The only question is, like, why is Gregory there? Because in that same ending, we saw that um, both Freddy and Gregory escape the pizza place, and the pizza plex, for that matter. So, was that, like, a fake ending? Was that, like, not canon? I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, let's address the elephant in the room. Did Gregory call the main character Cassidy? Or was it Cassie? I, I need to re-listen to it. Let me re-listen to it. Full volume. <laughs> Let's go. Um... It's Cassie. Cassie? It's it's Cassie. Is that is that C A S S I E? I think it might be. Cassie. Okay. So the main character is called Cassie. I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> um, <laughs> no way this is Cassidy. No way. Because we saw the girl in the poster and people speculated it could be many people. I think the main consensus was that it could be Elizabeth. Because, um, because if Gregory's crying child, it would just kind of make sense for it to be her sister. So I'm a bit concerned that this is Cassidy, not only because it's, it's like, I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned about that. I'm not concerned about the game. I'm concerned about the law um, and how we're going to fit this in because we know that Cassidy is the princess. So were we just wrong about Cassidy being the princess? I don't think so. I don't think we're wrong about Cassidy being the princess at all. Hmm, intriguing. That's very intriguing. Maybe that ties into the last thing we saw. Like, we'll, we'll get on to this. We'll get on to the last thing we saw. But maybe that could be the Afton amalgamation from Princess Quest. And, like, if it is, I am I'm so excited. Let's get into, like, a breakdown of what's happening in this trailer. So... Steel Wool Studios logo, the music is absolutely insane again. Like, I, I I feel like they're doing an amazing job with the music. I'm I'm sure it's Leon Riskin uh, still doing it. So here, we actually do get a, a little glimpse of our character, because that is definitely Cassie right there, um, stepping down. Okay, first of all, this whole scene is insane, right? If you look at where we are, we are at the entrance of the pizza plex right here. This is the entrance. Remember when these walls were all like actually done, <laughs> right? And it seems like it's all like kind of I don't I don't know why it would be boarded up or or maybe like the plaster has come off like I'm this is insane. Uh this might be the 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 intro cut scene or something because you can see that she's coming in that there's like daylight coming through the walls. Um, so you can kind of see that maybe this is the entrance to the pizza plex because the actual entrance is boarded up now. There's graffiti on the walls. Um, the signs are still up. That's in intriguing. Um, it seems like there's a ladder, right? There's a ladder right there on the... I don't know if you can see my mouse. I don't think you can. But there's a ladder uh, going up to the, the little platform. Um, and so maybe there's going to be more kind of... Not necessarily parkour, but like more levels we're going to be able to go to uh, in this version of the pizza plex. So it seems like it's going to be um, a very heavily under construction pizza plex that we're going to be uh, going through. So that's that's intriguing. Um, I'm not actually too sure. I don't know if I like the main character design uh, as we see her here. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like the colors, but there you go. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'd be fine. Okay, cool. Oh, and also, no blonde hair. So, that's even more kind of proof that this isn't, you know, it, it can't be Elizabeth, it can't be Susie, whether you think it's Susie. Um, I'm very scared that it's going to be Cassidy. 
Um, so, what does the graffiti say? Is that say saying faz or something? This is very cool. I, I like the environment here. Um, very graffiti centered uh, and not fully destroyed, but definitely not finished, right? <sighs> Can I put out a really weird theory? What if this takes place before Security Breach? Uh, it, it, I'm sure it doesn't. I am sure it doesn't. But imagine if it does. Imagine if they throw us for a loop and make us believe... Like, imagine if they um, gaslight us into thinking that this takes place after Security Breach when actually it's taking place during the construction of the Pizza Plex and Security Breach. That is a crazy theory because it's it's definitely not true. But imagine if it was. Imagine. Um, the only reason I'm saying it's not true is because, like, Graffiti is on the walls. It's kind of showing that this is more abandoned than being created in the moment. Um, so yeah, and, and all the animatronics are destroyed as well. So this is cool. Where is this place? Do we know where this is? And what is that? Is that a staff bot? I can't tell what that is. I think it's a staff bot. I could be wrong. <laughs> Look at him do a little dance. It looks like a freaking like a chicken or something, like an ostrich. This is a cool place. Okay, so we go around a corner. That should be... Is that an office, I think? I don't know. Like, again, I am i haven't actually played Security Breach. I've just watched, like, a million playthroughs of it. Uh, I'm hoping to play through Ruin, actually. I, I really hope to... I might buy... I might get myself an actual, like, computer so that I can... Like, an actual PC so that I can... I can play it um, because at the moment I'm doing everything on my laptop and obviously you can't play Security Breach on a MacBook. Um, so one thing I do like, oh, there's an there's an arm sticking out there in the bottom left. Um, well, one thing I do like about this is it is a lot darker. I mean, it's not gonna be great for my reactions and my breakdowns because I can't see anything. <laughs> but that's the thing that I do love about um, about this. Um, about this DLC so far is that it is a lot darker. It seems to be going down a darker route and that's great because a lot of people complained that Security Breach was too light and I mean I didn't complain I I, I just I think I think that is a, a valid criticism because you know it is a horror game and although there are other ways to do horror than making things dark you know it felt like it was kind of lost in um, in where it was as a horror game because I think that was kind of a lot of the fear in the original FNAF games. It's like fear of the unknown, right? And fear of the dark, I guess, because you shine a flashlight and anything could be in the dark. I think that was one of the things that was the most scary in uh, the original FNAF games. And it wasn't really translated well in Security Breach. But we are seeing a lot of darkness here and a lot of open, empty spaces. So that is kind of... It's it's nasty and and it's a feeling of loneliness as well, right? Because ruined DLC implies that nobody else is here and you're exploring an abandoned pizza flex, which is such a cool concept for a DLC, honestly. Um, this is really cool. This is a. Do do we see this in the in Security Breach? I swear we don't. This is like a watery area, so like a. Am I stupid? I feel like we we've never seen this before. Maybe we haven't. Is it like an aquarium or a water park or something? It's really cool. It, it reminds me of like the, the Chica Mermaid um, cutouts. So like Chica of the Sea. Um, again, everything's so dark. Maybe I should brighten this and then come back. This is really cool. I'm assuming this is still... This looks underground though. It looks like it's underground. I, I, I'm pretty sure it isn't, but this must be part of Monty Golf, right? This is terrifying, by the way. That is honestly very scary. The teeth, and you can't see his face at all or anything. Very, very scary. Okay. And then... Is that a damaged staff bot right there? Okay, and then... What does it say? Parts and service, fragile... Very cool. I love how security breachy it feels while also going down into more kind of darkness and horror. This should be the daycare, I think. Again, 
I'm terrible with locations in Security Breach, but I think this is the daycare. We can see one of the circles from the the climbing frames or whatever, and you can see the floor as well. It's like bouncy. Um, okay, cool. Just more dark areas. I really like, like, again, I feel like it should have been... I feel like for a gameplay trailer, it should have been more gameplay, but I like how it is building the environment. Uh, it's environmental storytelling, right? And I feel like they were really good at doing that in Security Breach. The environmental storytelling in Security Breach was fantastic. I'm I'm specifically thinking about that one room um, that is just destroyed. Like, the entire place is destroyed, and then in that room, you get a message saying, like, staff, uh, staff meeting, all staff required, there will be cake. Uh, and um, and then it's implied that all of the staff were killed and replaced by the staff bots. Um, so I, I really like the environmental storytelling there, and it seems to be be doing it a lot more here. And that's that's the joy of having an open world kind, not open world, but um, a kind of free roam game, right? It's pretty cool. Uh, that is a terrifying shot. Just the cupcake looking at you. It reminds me of Foxy.exe for some reason. Just a scary face in the background. It's not even supposed to be scary, it's just like, it's just a face in the background, and that's that's very unpleasant and um, unsettling. Okay, something moves here. What is that? Oh, that's, that's our hand. That's our hand. And then Roxanne is there. Roxanne, you don't look so good. <laughs> Roxanne is, is actually terrifying in this. Uh, she doesn't have a face anymore which was her most precious part. Uh, I'm sure most of you will agree. Um, wow, she just, stand it looks like a gas mask. Or oh, now she looks like a, like a coyote. Is that, is that accurate? Um, I don't know what she looks like. She looks like those things from The Lion King. I can't quite remember what they're called. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words. This is cool. Okay, so we see she has her band and she has green, Nail polish. Okay. Uh, and she's using this device. I'm assuming this is like a tape device so she can talk to Gregory. Does she talk to Gregory here? No, she doesn't. Um, okay, so it's... And it's Faz branded as well. So some sort of telecommunications for the staff, I assume. Uh, oh, there's our Glamrock Endos. Slash Mimic? I don't know. <laughs> Um, it says stars in the top left. Is this the, the daycare? Um, is this the theater? I don't know. So the Glamrock Endo comes to life. Very cool. Probably same mechanics as well. Uh, there's Glamrock Chica, her ruined version as well, as we saw in the poster. So we were kind of right about that. Oh, look at her. I love her walk. I think that's amazing. And then what happens here? Oh, you can access. Oh, oh, that's the um, that's the thing that we see on the website. That's the thing that we are seeing right now on securitybreach.tv. Um, and it is a cyber deck. So a cyber deck is essentially what hackers use. Uh, it's like a portable uh, PC, right? A portable. I guess you could call it a laptop, but it's more for kind of hacking purposes. And we see it here, and we see that when when she presses E to use. Also, what's in her left? Oh, a flashlight. Uh, press E to use, and then we use it, and then this comes up. So, wow, this is an upgrade and a half. First of all, no scanline bars or anything like that. It's like very high definition, right? High definition cameras. There seems to be six cameras uh, in the area. So again, we have like a, a radius of cameras that you can access when where you are at the time. Uh, and we are in Roxy Raceway. Roxy Raceway 2, Cam 1, Intercom. Oh, interesting, Intercom. So I'm assuming we're going to be talking to Gregory a lot throughout this. I, I need to know a lot about Gregory, a lot more about Gregory in this. I feel like Gregory could be the villain. I feel like that could be possible. Because um, obviously we know now that Gregory is patient 46. Could Glitchtrap have gotten control again of Gregory? Quite potentially, quite potentially, um, and we might need, to, that's why he's saying help me, maybe we need to save him uh, in some way, in some aspect like that, but maybe he's going to be, um, 
he's going to have like a split personality. That's one thing. We haven't seen Vanessa. We haven't seen Vanessa at all. So I'm assuming because the, the Pizza Plex was abandoned that Vanessa just doesn't work there anymore. Uh, but Vanny, if, if the burn trap ending is still true, then that means Vanny is still around. So that's that's a bit concerning. But I don't know. We don't see her. I don't think, at least. Um, these cameras look great, though. Uh, and, oh my gosh, Roxanne is terrifying. It looks like a cursed Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, <laughs> her grin and the fact she doesn't have eyes. It kind of feels like Bobby Dot's, um, Bobby Dot's Part 2. Uh, I just wish there were kind of more wires trailing from her hair or something. That would be cool. But no, she does look very scary. She looks very bare. And I am excited to see all the animatronics again. This is interesting. So it looks like we're going to be keeping a hold of this device, whatever it is. And we're going to be plugging it into here and fixing wires. Is this Among Us? <laughs> is this Among Us? That's my question. So we also have a Roxy talky talk, uh, walkie talkie. So it seems like Roxy is going to be our guide, maybe? That doesn't make sense, right? Does that make sense? She seems pretty menacing in all these shots, so I don't think that Roxy is going to be our Glamrock Freddy in this. But I'm also, like, a bit concerned, like, who's going to be our guide in this? I It's probably going to be Gregory. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty cool that she talks to Roxy in this. Okay. And then we have a broken down staff bot. We actually see one of these. We actually see two of these, I believe, in Security Breach. And there was, there was a theory for a while that this was Andrew, because Andrew was theoretically the one you should not have killed. Uh, and this is like symbolism for Andrew, because there was also symbolism for the bite victim, and there was also symbolism for Cassidy um, through staff bots. I, I'll, I might make a video about that later, but... Um, basically, this is a very battered uh, staff bot. Is this underground as well? Yeah, I think this is underground. It could be. Uh, very destroyed. Okay, I love the environment here. What is that? Wait. Is that Foxy? No shot, that's Foxy. I think that might be Foxy. Obviously, this is either Mon Monty or Foxy. But it looks like Foxy. This is what one of my, one of my, this is what I want in Ruin, right? I want a lot of things that would have been in the Pizzaplex before Security Breach to come back. And the way we're going to see that is maybe there was a Foxy animatronic. And maybe they were, there were other animatronics as well. Uh, or maybe we might see Bonnie, right? Because, because Bonnie might still be around. But all I'm saying is, like, we have Tails on the Pizzaplex books that show what happens before Security Breach. And one example of that is we see there's a Glamrock Ballora at one point. There's a Glamrock Ballora in Ballora's Fitness and Flex, and it was shut away. It was kind of archived in the building, never seen again. Um, but there was an incident there, and Ballora was put away or whatever. So maybe she's coming back. Maybe we'll see a Glamrock Ballora, a broken down Glamrock Ballora. I would freaking love that. It, it would mean the world to me if they did that, honestly, because, you know, more connections with the books. And it would be really cool to see Ballora again, because Ballora is admittedly very scary and has very strange and horrible mechanics that I think would work really well in, in this sort of free roam game. I think that might be Monty. Yeah, that looks like Monty. I wish it was Foxy, though. I wish. Um, so, cool. What is going on here? Oh, we're on a ride. I think. I think we were on a ride there. Right? That looks like, that looks like... Wait, bottom right, bottom right. What is, what on earth? What is going on in the bottom right? Why is there a logo spinning? Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Plex. So... We are on, like, a, a company ride or something? I don't know. I'm very confused why that logo randomly appears. Maybe it's part of the gameplay. Maybe maybe it's a loading symbol. I don't know. But this is a cool animation. Um, and, wow, this entire place is just completely destroyed. 
I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love destruction. Okay, and there's Sheikha again. There's Monty. So does that Monty... They look different. That one looks more destroyed than this one. I think. I think they look different. So I think Foxy might be coming back. I, I would love to see Foxy because Foxy is very scary. But I guess Roxanne and Monty are kind of like your Foxy in the modern day FNAF series. The animatronic design is so cool. You can see the Glamrock endoskeleton within Monty. This animation is sick. I'm assuming it plays... Um, oh, I mean, I'm assuming it plays um, doing a jump scare. But wow, look at look at Cassie trying to fight it. That's interesting. It's interesting to me. Okay. And then, yeah, the static, I think, means that you're dead. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I love this. This is so funny to me. You're just watching Chica on a conveyor belt. So that's Chica again, I think. And then... It looks amazing. It, it it that's terrifying. That is so terrifying. And I like about these animatronics that you can tell which Glamrock animatronic it is, even though there aren't many parts left of them, right? So it's kind of cool. Um oh, I love how she turns. This is interesting. So this is sun slash moon. But it seems half of it is sun and half of it is moon. So what happened? Something in the code went wrong and it has cursed them to stay together as one animatronic. Which is interesting. Maybe, it, that, maybe that's a theme in this whole thing that you can have a bad side and a good side but realistically you are both bad and good. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Um, it's kind of like combined good and bad. So maybe that happens with Gregory. Maybe there is this kind of switch that we see with Vanessa and Vanny that we see with Gregory. Maybe. And maybe that's why we have to save him because he is switching between personalities and it's uncontrollable. But this looks so good. Crazy. It's cr it, it looks crazy good. Terrifying. It's more scar It's scarier than Moon in Insecurity Breach. I will say that. I think all the animatronics have an upgrade, have had an upgrade, and look at the hand, man! Oh wow, that is a great shot right there. I'm putting that in the thumbnail. <laughs> um, I would love to see more of Sun and Moon in, in Ruin. Obviously, I think we're just going to see this character. Maybe this is Eclipse. Maybe this is Eclipse. Maybe it will be called Eclipse. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, the daycare... Wait. Okay, so it seems like... Part, like, this This is from, um, Fazerblast, or Faz, yeah, Fazerblast. That's from Fazerblast, the Roxanne cutout. But we are in the daycare. Or are we in the daycare? Like, uh, it's it's really weird to figure this out. Because it seems like they've, they've just thrown loads of elements away. Loads of the building away, maybe, and scrapped them. It's interesting. What was that? Oh! My. God. What? What? Oh my god. Okay, I didn't even see this on my first watch through. Okay, so the first reason I was screaming oh my god because is because I thought this was Vanessa. I mean Vanny. This is not Vanny. This is not the Vanny mask. I would have killed myself if this was the Vanny mask. This is another mask. What on earth is this? Who is this? This is really cool. And what powers does it give us? Like, why would we need this? I guess it... Is this like... Hmm. Oh, by the way, I love the clouds. The clouds add so much to it. Red, kind of infrared, or ultraviolet light or something. And then we have this.
What is that? Hmm, so there's two mysteries from this, I think. It's like, what on earth is going on with this mask? And who is this? It's got to be Afton, right? In some way. It, lo it doesn't look FNAF. It, it doesn't look like FNAF. Like, is it just me? Or does this not feel like FNAF at all? It feels like a completely different game. I have a feeling, like, as I said before, I have a feeling this is this is tied in some way to the Afton Amalgamation and Princess Quest. I don't know how. The hands sort of remind me of DJ Music Man, but I think this is too small to be DJ Music Man. Hmm. So new animatronic, new character. This has got to be Afton, right? But how? <laughs> but what? Why? Why does this thing look like this? It must be a, a previous character from the Pizza Plex that we didn't see in Security Breach. Uh, I love the logo. I love the gradient here and a pan. July twenty twenty three. I wow, 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 wow. That's crazy. So. That's my first kind of initial reaction to the Ruined DLC. Um, I'm actually going to play it one more time, just like I did with the FNAF movie trailer. I'm going to play it one more time and listen to the audio because I have a feeling I, I missed something in the audio. So let me listen again. Music is so good. Cassie, I hope you get this message. I'm trapped here at the pizza plex or what's left of it. I don't have time to go into how I got here, but you've got to help me out. Save me, Cassie, please. It's so dark down here. It's so dark down here. So, Gregory must be in the pizza place. Okay, here, here's the thing, right? One thing I really, really, really want Ruin to do is to go down further underground because if you think about it the pizza place right that's the fnaf 6 location a lot of people including me believe that that is fred bear's family diner or at least like a, re a, a renovated fred bear's family diner and and that's for multiple reasons um i would say like the main one is that that is where the puppet died or that is where charlotte died and that's where the security puppet mini game happens, and you can see the actual outside, the alleyway that um, that Charlie died, and that is the same alleyway as the screenshots in FNAF Three, where it's like Afton, like there, and then Lefty uh, with the puppet hanging out. You you can see you can see kind of correlation between Charlotte's death and the FNAF Six location, and so if Charlotte's death was at Fred Bear's, then Obviously, Fred Bears uh, is the FNAF 6 location. If that is true, if FNAF 6 location, uh, pizza place, if the pizza place is Fred Bears, that would mean next to it is Afton's house, which makes sense when you think about it, because in Security Breach, we see Michael's room. That would be the real Michael's room. That wouldn't be like a recreation of it. It would be the actual room, and they, they have, for some reason, preserved the room. They haven't destroyed it, they've covered it up, they've hidden it away, um, and it's still there in the pizza place. Uh, or in the pizza plex. And if you think about what's under Afton's house, uh, security breach. Uh, no, sister location. <laughs> sister location. Uh, Circus Babies Entertainment and Rentals is underneath the pizza place. So, that would mean maybe there's still some Circus Baby animatronics, maybe including Ballora. And it would mean there is somewhere further deep down to go. And if you, if you look at um, Security Breach Fury's Rage, there is one stage that looks like we're in Circus Baby's Entertainment and Rentals, which shows a Circus Baby blueprint, and it seems like it is underneath the pizza plex. So... It's very, uh, very uh, sceptical. No, no, no. Very um, hypothetical. That's the word. Um, so that's very hypothetical. But I really, really hope that that is 
true, and that is below the pizza place. And we get to explore it, and that is where Gregory is, and that's why he says it's so dark. Let's continue listening. Yeah. Was that Roxanne? Like, was that Roxanne saying, Gregory, run? No, that was us saying, uh, Gregory, run. Gregory, run! I don't know. What is that? Don't what? give up on me yet. Don't give up on me yet. Okay. What on earth is that thing? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. That is an amazing gameplay trailer. Uh, I think uh, amazing. Just so good. There are so many questions that I have now and I'm so excited. July? Are you kidding me? I did not even think, I, I thought it would be after the FNAF movie, honestly, in, in like November or something, but no, it's coming this summer, in July. Again, I have time off work in July. Um, yeah, July, man, July. I am so excited. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> ah. Wow. That's all I can say, that's all I can say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed my breakdown of it. Uh, and if you have anything else to, to point out, then let me know in the comments below, of course. Um, all comments are welcome. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.